Okay, so what am I saying? I'm saying that this is the, this is an introduction to the Sequoia Roots Corps, and we're in the Monarch Wilderness. And here comes Miguel. Miguel, do you have anything to say about the Sequoia Roots Corps? How this is hard work, man. <laughs> A, remember, hard work, it's not easy. B, <laughs> it's amazing to be out here away from civilization, or so it seems. We're the only ones in a very large scope of, of space here. Um, also, in our great company is this uh, Student Conservation Corps. And, uh, and to pick up the gun, my love, we are destined to teach these ones to be brave and never run away. Courage is birth from the womb on the first light of day. Yeah, the day you were born, you came out perfect, never meant to be true. The access to the national monuments and um, the wilderness areas is really one of the first steps to the recovery of wildfires. After a fire burns an area, um, a lot of times you won't see as many of these standing live trees uh, and certainly one would see damage to the trails that are going inside. And you can kind of get a view here, maybe a little lower might be a better view, but you can kind of see here like the, the matchsticks I call them. Yeah. And all this stuff, and yeah, so all that stuff is going to come down eventually, sooner or later. Or if they get lost in the stars, stars. It's important that that access be, you know, reacquired because, firstly, it's the way that we get the people into these amazing wilderness places to become connected to it. So. Access on foot is really important for that wilderness experience. Are you almost there? No. Not yet. Secondly, I think is true also that um, for emergency services in the future, you know, not only are those recreationists going to need assistance now and again, but if fires will occur through here, um, wherein emergency services may need to have access. So that's what we're doing with this trail recovery project. But in either case, the, the trails need to be managed. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, especially post fire, because if you look back here too, if you swing back there, look at these guys, that's directly yep. rough fire related. And those are absolutely going to tumble onto the trail. Future trail. And so, Future trail. and so, there's there's hundreds, if not thousands, of these out here right now. And so, without regular work on these trails, you might as well just close it because. So much of this is going to come tumbling down each year. It's just going to come tumbling down. And so, you got to have steady boots on the ground and you know trail maintenance to keep these areas accessible. What is that? Yeah. This. What is that? <laughs> yeah. It's a like big piece a of metal pieces. that cuts apart wood fibers. <laughs> it's it's my hand. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's a crosscut saw. Vintage. So it's going to get through the trees without these guys. Got that PPE holding that properly. Look at that leather glove Snaps. underneath. Oh, wow, <laughs> this nice. wasn't staged. This wasn't staged. <laughs> hey, I'm cute. Did anybody see? So many parts to a heavy heart. Hey, if there's no big game, then where would you start?
Uh, my name is Mehmet, I'm with Wild Places, and uh, we're here in the Monarch Wilderness where we've been building some trails in a, in a fire that occurred a few years ago called the Rough Fire. So the fire destroyed some of the trails. We went back through to, to, to recreate access to some of these places um, in our National Monument and in the Sequoia National Forest. Uh, it's important to do so because recreationists and people, our communities, our parents, even our grandparents sometimes need access to these wilderness places to be able to feel the medicine. Uh, they need access to this wilderness place to, to know what they're back in town protecting. Um, they need access to these wilderness places so that when they talk to their politicians and policymakers, they speak the truth. So these trails provide that. It also provides emergency services for um, the future. Uh, uh, Wild Places is uh, partnering with the U.S. Forest Service and the National Forest Foundation. Thank you, the National Forest Foundation, mm -hmm. for your um, support of this project. That was a great little movement of trees there. I was explaining a little bit about how um, um, creating access for the forest was you know, one of the primary of, you know, getting people to buy into the wilderness concept. So um, from a Forest Service perspective, how important do you think it is to get these trails cleared? Well, it's as simple as, uh, you know, the more people come up here and, and fall in love with it, the more people are going to protect it. And so you want to have the access provided, you know, so that yeah. people can simply, like, physically get to the places yeah. and enjoy them. Um, and obviously we've seen on this trail, it's just it's very difficult to get to where we needed to get to simply because of the hazards and the obstacles on the trail. So, you know, us coming up in here and do this and doing this is an enormous step and opening that access up so we can get people up here and, and fall in love with this place. Well, thanks for the Forest Service for giving us some guidance. We need about 10 more of you. <laughs> Hear that, Carol? With that snag, you know, if you could tie the tie down What? Yeah, that's a good thing. You could trade me. Or ask um, Siri? Siri or whatever Samsung has. I don't even, I don't even know. We have Siri. Seems like it's pretty Okay, so that's Eagle Peak that we're looking at, um, and and given that we did a our closing circle today was the Eagle Song, um, you know we're we're grateful to be in such good company. Uh, this is the Monarch Wilderness. This is the place that Wild Places has been playing for the past few days, and um, play is maybe not the best word, but definitely you know there is some trail building going on and playfulness. The Monarch Wilderness is um, connected to some really great big old parks like Kings Canyon and like Sequoia National Park and further south the Golden Trout Rail Wilderness. These uh, large acres of roadless areas are the contiguous enough now to protect the biodiversity and the lungs and the air and the free services that nature provides. Um, we're here to see that happen through, through work on the ground and investment in the actual hard ASS work that we've been engaging in the past few days. www.wildplaces.net for more information on that project. I don't care. consider myself a patriot, but I'm, I don't happen to be a patriot to a flag, I'm a patriot to a land. Hey, this is Art with Wild Places, and uh, I'm going to do a bit of a commentary. There's Mehmet trying to put away that saw blade. We're all very tired. Mehmet wants here's Jeff talking a little bit about that Widowmaker back there. Post fire. see there. Common name is the Poodle Dog. Oh, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> 
total this dark. Some good stuff there. Here. It smells yeah. like marijuana, um, but it is just ten times worse than oak. Yep. Just some interesting things that we don't get to talk about very much. But you guys see all that growth back there after a wildfire. After generations and generations, these plants are able to come back because they've evolved to live in this particular area and fires are a part of it. Here we were deciding which would be the safest way to deal with this log that's right over the trail here. and very dangerous and kind of just fell in the most particular way. Uh, next year's funding, National yeah, Forest Foundation. Then, uh, <laughs> we need some more funding to get past that's this one, that's for the right next there? trip. We definitely ended up making some lifelong friends with Hannah, Sam, and Mackenzie there. Um, Student Conservation Corps with the United States Forest Service, along with the ranger, Jeff, wilderness ranger. Boy, that's a good looking group there. You got Hombre Lobo, Danny, Hannah, Sam, Jeff, Josh, Emmett, Mackenzie, and Art. Thank you guys and visit www.wildplaces.net or on Facebook at Southern Sierra Stewardship or Wild Places and hashtag Save the Giants. Sky Root Score! So, this is an introduction to the Sequoia Roots Corps. 